Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to another LEGO video, number 5. And today we are taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars Millennium Falcon, number 75105. This is the one that came out during the Force Awakens time. So yeah, let's get straight into this. So first, um, we are going to start off with the minifigures, starting with the, the, um, older version of Han Solo. He has a vest kind of thingy, and then, you know, kind of what Harrison Ford looks like now. Next up, we have, um, Force Awakens style Ray, like a scavenger Ray kind of, you know, the hair. We got my favorite minifigure out of all the minifigures of Star Wars, and that is BB-8. He was like one of my favorite characters of all Star Wars. And then the last one, we have, um, we have Chewbacca. Who we were just playing with in Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. So yeah. Good thing Chewie's here. So then on to the big part. So the first and always the best part of the ship. Oh, hang on. Is the cockpit. I'm pretty sure I can fit too many figures in it, but I'm only going to put one of them in for now. And that will be Han Solo. So I just got to... Hold on one moment, guys. Just got to get him in there. Covering is a little bit tricky to, to get back on the cockpit, but it's easy. So there's Han Solo where he's supposed to be. And then the best part about this set, actually first off, in here is this gunner area that can seat one minifigure. I think I'm going to choose Ray for that one, so hold on one second again. So here's Ray going in. Um, it's a little weird in there, but you know. But as I was saying, the best part of the Millennium Falcon um, playset slash set thingy, whatever, um, is that. There's an entire interior of it. You can literally access the entire part of the Falcon. So here we've got the Dejaric table where that they play Dejaric. I'm pretty sure in the Lego Star Wars: The Force Awakens game, I'm pretty sure that there is a, a thing called the Dejaric battle where you're supposed to do a game on this pad thingy, and then. There's beds right there, and then a rotating chair, and then, yeah, so then when we fold this part up, hang up, now we're just going to take a look at the outside. So we got this rotating cannon where the area where Ray is, and we've got these heat exhaust vents, and the radar thingy, which is the square slash rectangle, according to Solid Brick Studio, there's some kind of difference to it, and also, just like there's a rotating cannon on the top, 
I don't know if you can see down there, but there is also a rotating cannon at the bottom. And that one can also spin around. But probably if I try to get under there, it's going to destroy the entire ship. So I don't really want to do that. I'm not exactly sure what these holes here are for, but, you know, it's the Millennium Falcon. Everything gets stuck to it. So, yeah. Well, that is going to do it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below which videos you want to see next, and also turn on notifications. That's what I, if you guys ever want to win giveaways, you must subscribe with notifications on because I will be doing some giveaways very, very soon. So stay tuned for all that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!